Oh, you just the floor. To do it, yeah? have a tidy up, get the power back on, then we'll run through it all. So now I am going to get this just pinned back. So if you didn't know, this comes like that. I think it does normally come with fixings, but this time it hasn't. So we'll actually take these brass M4s and they will easily fit into these. They are actually threaded, four mil threaded. So yeah, I'm going to get these cables tidied up. And then I think I'm going to get all these armoured glanded in below here. I can't do the T&Es because you need another bit of tray, another bit of trunk and stuff like that. We can't drill after eight o'clock anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna focus on getting these in. Do a couple of them with ya. Get the board wrapped up as well. Talk through that, get some breakers in maybe. These are the KQ breakers. They actually just push on. I grab one. So you've got these two pins on the back that literally clip into there, pick up a phase. And then yeah, that's your breaker. Obviously RCVAs will also do the same. You have the fly leads on them. Live and uh, functional earth. And then, uh, yeah, they just sort of push on. You don't tighten anything that end. And then they obviously lock on with the same sort of clip system. So, yeah, nice and easy. That's our CT for the top section of the board. Runs back to, I believe, this meter here. This meter meters the incoming. And then this meter meters the light in. And obviously splits the difference. And then you know how much you're using, drawing and spending on lighting compared to the rest of the board. So that's what that is. And then we got, we got one more for down here. Tire up in here, it's just to tidy all this up really. I'm a sucker for spending way too much time dressing it all in, but um, yeah, you want it to look, you want it to look good. the earth tucked in as well um, yeah pretty happy with that the rest of it's all pretty well self-contained obviously it all come prefabricated so I don't really need to mess with much of it anyway but yeah it's all pretty smart we've also got the connections for the meter in if you wanted to send this elsewhere so if you wanted to have you know a communal room where you don't have to come into this floor invade the you know the tenants privacy or whatever to get meter readings you can send this elsewhere to a communal switch room or something a plant room and take the readings there so i don't think they're doing that but it's nice to have that facility nice little uh yeah protection plate there and then yeah we've just glanded that in there left it um sheathed as far as we can split it for the cts you probably saw in the footage as well i actually nicked the black phase getting it through the trunk in it does happen from time to time but i've just put a bit of heat shrink on there to tidy that up Sometimes stuff like that does happen and all you can do is try to sort it out and uh, yeah, try and learn from it. So yeah, all in all, uh, I think it went pretty well. Now I'm actually gonna try doing something productive for Gaz and uh, start getting these armors in, we'll start tying them in. What we've got is we've got five 10 mils on the bottom and then five four mils on the top. So I'm actually gonna rejig these so the, the 10 mils in the middle and the four mils on the bottom. And then what they're gonna do is come around. We've got two 20 mils done already for the site tents. And then I'm going to drill four more holes. We only, so that'll be six in total. We only actually need five, but I'm just going to do the six just because we've marked it out, we've done it all, and there's all make you know, the next electrician's life easier, or maybe even Gaz's later in the job. If an extra cable needs to get put in, if not, we just put a bung in it. Um, that's what I like to do. Not everyone likes that, but that's what I like to do. So yeah, I'm just drilling these out, 
these are already marked up. I'm going to have to rejig the other six because they were made for 20 mils and we're going to be using 25 mil glands. So I'll rejig them, we'll get them all drilled and we'll hopefully get all these armors put away, see how we get on today. So it's been a little while. I've got six of the 10 in, just about to do the seventh. I'm actually gonna get two more in and then the last one I'll run through with you. I've done on other videos, but it'd be cool to show you again how to get them to drop in almost perfectly. I say perfectly, there's always a bit of play. I've got all the brass bolts facing down. I'll make sure Gary is cool out, he likes that too. So yeah, that's how I like to do it. Keeps them out of the trunk in. And then yeah, they're just long enough to go all the way up, over and down again. Um, but yeah, we're not second fixing anything today anyway. That'll be, in, uh, I think I'm back next week doing the lighting and I'll probably be back again to finish it off. So yeah, for now, I'll carry on cracking on. I'll catch up with you guys when we get to the last one. I can show you everything uh, in the vault with that. Right, so I'm just going to show you how to get these um, to fit perfectly, basically. Obviously, this is a floating bit of cable. It's hard to eye it up, to line it up. So what I'm going to do is show you a little trick. I've showed it in other videos, but we'll go through it in depth here. You want to start with your gland in the trunking, and then you want your armoured, or whatever cable for that matter, positioned pretty much right. So I've got these all tied in, they're not moving. Obviously, there's a bit of play here, but generally, they're going to stay pretty much where they are. So now, I just want to get this side up there. I want to tuck the tie wrap down the back of the cable. And I basically, I'm going to show you on the front. I'm basically doing that, but on the back. And this is going to tell me exactly where to cut the stills. So I've got that positioned on the gland where I want the stills to stop. I'm allowing a bit of a swoop. You can see it's sort of curving out. So it's going to be a nice swoop on the cable too. And then I just want to pull that off, track that down the cable. And you can see there, I've already marked it, of course. That's how I got that mark there. I then cut here, this is where I cut my steels. I'll get the glanding process done and then you'll be able to see that it will be pretty much perfect. Obviously there is a bit of tolerance. You can gain a bit, lose a, li a bit in these bends as well. But um, yeah, that's how I done this this morning. You can see I've done that pretty quickly under a lot of pressure. It is over swooping a little bit here, but we've actually got loads of room in the corner to push a bit of slack back and that will be perfect. And yeah, I didn't have to think about what I was doing. I could just crack on under pressure and achieve a nice glance and using this technique so it's pretty clutch it's great for big cables it's actually more forgiving with big cables i find with smaller cables like 25s um, it's easier to mess it up there's a lot more um a lot more tolerance in it all it seems but yeah bigger cables it's almost yeah perfect we'll get this gland in and i'll show you how it fits uh, in a bit when it's ready Pliers wrenches are so clutch for this. Wouldn't, wouldn't gland an armoured valve on now. I just need to get a big set for them bigger cables, that's all. Right, banjo's on. Let's see how this sizes up. Another tip, if you align your lock ring, you haven't got to thread it all the way on afterwards. Yeah. 
So that's them all in. Finally, what is the time? The time is 10 to 4, so not too bad at all. Yeah, that's how you get them to land. Sweet. Yeah, they're looking pretty good to be honest with you. I'm happy with them anyway. Hopefully Gary's happy with them. All bolted downwards. These are just temps, so ignore them. But yeah, all bolted through. Happy days. These are all over. Labels, we've got to have a tidy up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll probably get out of here. That is me done. Board on, live, obviously feed tested and stuff. And then, yeah, five, 20 mils glanded in, five, 25 mils glanded in. A lot of them were actually existing circuits. Some of them were a bit short. We'll be back getting those circuits put away, building more of the board. And then, yeah, probably second fix and tester thing with Gary as well, if he'll have me back. Interesting one, mad rush in the morning. And then, uh, yeah, here we are at four o'clock, quarter past four. Jude's itching to get home. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to hit the road. As always, thanks for watching. Any tools and equipment, check out Loadout. Link will be in the description. And I'll catch you on the next one.